Hello, my name is Hebi Chan Jung, and this is my passion project that I call Making Music When Simple Probabilities Outperform Neural Networks. I'm going to give the punchline right away. I built an original machine that makes pop music, and I can say with some objective metric that it makes music that's more like pop than some of the ones made by neural networks or AI, as many people call it. So how did I do this? I made my machine focus on what I thought was at the heart of pop music, and that's the relationship between the melody and the harmony. For those who are not musically familiar, think of melody as the tunes, the vocals, and the harmony as the chords or chord progression. If I can use a visual metaphor, the harmony represents the root and melody the branch, meaning that the melody depends on the harmony. This observation is nothing new. Axis of Awesome, in their once viral YouTube video, demonstrated this long ago. Brilliant, my love is pure. I saw an angel of that I'm sure. People kill and people die and children hurt and you hear them crying Can you practice what you preach? Won't you turn the other cheek? Forever young, I wanna be forever young I won't hesitate no more This video clearly shows how the harmony, or those four chords, strongly determine what the melody will be. Keeping this in mind, I first used 20 different western pop songs in C major key and told my machine to process their MIDI files. I processed these MIDI files in a special way that allowed me to extract a probabilistic relationship between all the harmony notes and all the melody notes of my input data. I also got the probabilistic relationship among the melody notes and I did the same for the harmony notes as well. I can't tell you exactly how I processed the MIDI files, but I can tell you what my model is and what it does. First, my machine selects a harmony note based on its probability distribution. This note will be responsible for selecting the next melody note. The selection will be done through the probability matrix that we have seen earlier. For instance, given that particular harmony note, the first melody note might have a 10% of being selected, the next one 20%, the next one the same, and ah, this one has 40%, which means that the machine might select this harmony note based on its higher likelihood. This chosen melody note will be responsible for selecting the next melody note using the other probability matrix. It chooses the second option based on its high likelihood, and so on. This chain will happen vertically as well. The first harmony note will be responsible for selecting the next harmony note with the same procedure. And that harmony note will be responsible for initiating a chain of the next melody notes. And so on, and so on. I put in place a cutoff line so that my model doesn't generate notes forever and for my song to end at some point. So the question is, how do we evaluate this model? How can we say objectively that this model does better at producing pop music than a neural network model. That my music is more pop than their music. To answer this question, we must first understand what exactly defines pop music in the first place. I gave the first definition, the statistical relationship between the harmony and the melody. But there is also another defining characteristic of pop music. And that's how pop music has a clear beginning, middle, and an end. 
this in mind, we can use what is called a self-similarity matrix. Simply put, the matrix uses math to visually show that beginning, middle, and an end. This matrix is for the song Falling Slowly. I color the first and the third cluster the same because they are very similar, or self-similar. The second and the fourth segment are also very self-similar. I made 20 of these self-similarity matrices of the 20 pop songs I used as input data. And I made my machine copy their structures as best as it can. And the results are telling. Before the self-similarity matrix, my machine produced sounds that had no internal repetitive structure. But after copying the structure, aha, we now begin to see the boundaries in my generated music. Compared to this, the pop music made by a neural network is unable to capture those segments in music. And that's how you can evaluate different models that make pop music. You can visit my website to try out my machine. The link is down below. Also. I've used my machine to generate pop lyrics. More detailed account of why I generated pop lyrics using the machine is also down below in the links.